Hello guys and girls, Roger back with another video. So the goal of this lecture is to teach you how you can run any AWS CLI commands. So I don't just want to show you running the command and then it's done, right? Uh, so I'm gonna go through the steps on how to find out the AWS CLI commands and how to uh, read the difference and then uh, run it. Sounds good? All right, let's get into it. So let's take a look at the core formations that we are going to use for this lecture. Uh, so we have two CFTs for this. Uh, one CFT is creating S3 bucket, our very own trusty <laughs> and simple cloud formation, uh, basically creates a bucket and then outputs the name of the bucket. The other cloud formation uh, has input parameter. I wanted to show you both ways, one without an input parameter, another with one. Uh, so this is the SNS uh, example. It accepts the SNS email from the user and then uh, creates SNS topic using that SNS email. Okay, I am in uh, Google. So I'm gonna Google AWS CLI CloudFormation. Okay, so uh, this is the first link. Okay, so this is the AWS CLI documentation for CloudFormation. Uh, let me make the font a little bigger so it's easier for you guys. Okay, so these are the available commands. Uh, so let's look how to create a stack. Um, so, okay, create stack. Let's click this. Uh, so this is how you read the AWS CLI documentation. Uh, pretty straightforward. It shows you the command and then uh, the parameters. And for the parameters, if the parameter name is uh, within this third brackets, that means it's conditional or optional. And if it is not in third bracket, that means it's a required field. We're gonna look into this conditional optional uh, field in a little bit more detail a little bit. So the way you will write the command is AWS space CloudFormation space create stack. And then you have to pass the parameters, those are appropriate. Uh, so this dash dash stack name, we have to give a name and then uh, let's look at the other parameters. So if you scroll down, okay, so template body. So basically here you can pass the whole cloud formation in the command, uh, basically type in the whole cloud formation. We don't want that and it's conditional. So basically you must specify either the template body or the template URL, but not both. And this template URL is location of the file containing the template body. Uh, so we can, we can upload it into S3 bucket or put it in local. Okay, so uh, let's do this. Um, let's use S3 bucket, right? Because, because that's straightforward. Uh, so next step is I'm going to upload the two cloud formation, uh, one for S3 bucket, another for SNS uh, into a S3 bucket, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I uploaded those two cloud formations into this Udemy CDK bucket. So next I'm going to go into a Cloud9 terminal uh, to use the AWS CLI. Uh, if you want, you can use your local terminal configured with uh, secret keys and secret access keys. That works as well. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so the left side is the AWS Cloud9 terminal. Uh, so, and then the right side is the AWS CLI command reference. Uh, I did this side by side so you guys can see the process. Okay, so uh, as you can see, this for template URL, uh, we need the URL uh, for the CloudFormation that's in the S3 bucket. Uh, so how do we do that? Go back to S3 and uh, let's run this S3CFT.yaml. So if I click this and then I'm gonna right click and then copy link address. Go back to my AWS CLI. Okay, uh, so how this is gonna go is remember, this is under AWS CloudFormation and then create stack. So, so this is how we're gonna do it. AWS space CloudFormation space create dash stack. And then the next parameter is stack name. So we're gonna, we are gonna give this stack a name, dash dash stack dash name. Let's give a name, how about AWS CLI dash create S3 bucket. Okay, uh, space, 
Uh, now, only thing we need is the template URL. So das dash template das URL, and we copied the link of the template. It's in our clipboard, so let's paste this. So if we enter this, uh, this should submit the confirmation. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, it gave us a stack ID, which is a good sign. So now let's go to CloudFormation console and see if it really submitted it. Okay, I'm in CloudFormation console. Let me refresh this. Here we go, AWS CLI create S3 bucket. Let's click this. Uh, let's click output. Here we go, the bucket name. Uh, however, let's say we want to see the status and everything uh, from AWS CLI itself. Uh, so how do we do that? So if we want to see how the stack went from AWS CLI, uh, what do we do? We look for the command describe stack or something. So if we go back, okay, let's look for something which looks like describe. Okay, this is describe. Okay, describe stacks. So let's click that. Okay, describe stacks. Okay, so stack name. So I think you know how to run the command. Uh, so pause it if you want to think about it. So the command always starts with AWS and then the service name, which is uh, CloudFormation. So basically AWS, then CloudFormation. And then the command is describe-stacks. Describe-stacks and then stack name, dash, dash, stack, dash, name. Uh, what's our stack name? We're gonna copy this from here. Control C, paste it here, press enter. Okay, so this gives us the status of the stack. So you can see it says create complete, stack name, uh, output value, uh, no tags, uh, no drifts. Don't worry too much about the drift. We are gonna learn about drift uh, in, in a future lecture. Okay, so uh, this looks good. So now uh, let's try to submit the other confirmation, uh, which is our SNS, but that has a parameter. So let's go back to S3 and get the link. Okay, here we go, uncheck this, check this. Here we go, right click, copy link address. Okay, on the right, I'm gonna go back to the create stack command. Create stack. Okay, then the parameters. Parameters is a list. So basically you're gonna pass like parameter key and parameter value. Okay, looks pretty straightforward. Let's try it out. Okay, let's clear the screen. Okay, so how do we create stack? First, AWS, and then name of the service, confirmation, then the command, create the stack, and then stack name, AWS CLI does SNS topic. How about that? Template URL. Okay, and then parameters. Okay, let's scroll down on the right. Parameters, parameter key, parameter value, okay. You know, I'm gonna be lazy. I'm just gonna copy from here, paste it here. What is the name of our um, input parameter? SNS email, right? SNS email. Okay, SNS email, comma, parameter value equals to, so here we just have to give an email. So how about AWS rocks at the rate email.com? How about that? Okay, so we should be all set. So let's try this out. So let's press enter. 
Okay, so we got a stack ID. That's good sign. So you're gonna wait a couple minutes and then uh, do the describe stack on this one and see what we get. Okay, so now let's try the describe command. So I wanna be lazy, I'm just gonna push up to get describe stacks. And what name did we give? AWS CLI SNS topic. Okay, I'm just gonna move this, here we go. Okay, so the stack status is create complete. Okay, so uh, just for validation, let's go to SNS uh, in the console and see if it really created the topic. Okay, AWS CLI does SNS topic. That's the name of our stack. So click this, scroll down. Here we go, AWS underscore rocks at email.com. Uh, so it created the topic with the appropriate email endpoint that we input. Okay, so now uh, let's do one more thing. Let's see if we can delete these stacks from AWS CLI, okay? So let's try to do this uh, by the knowledge that we gathered so far. So go back. So we have to find the command for deleting stack. Uh, so if I see, here we go, delete stack. If I click it, so what are the parameters? Delete stack and pretty much stack name. Okay, so the way uh, we do it is first the name AWS and then the name of the service. Uh, the way I do it is see here, it says AWS and then CloudFormation. So I just follow that AWS space CloudFormation and then the command, command is delete dash stack, delete the stack and then dash dash stack dash name. So I'm gonna paste the name of the stack uh, press enter. Uh, it doesn't really tell you whether it's deleted or not. Okay, so if we run a describe stack now, uh, it shouldn't return anything. Uh, so let's run that. Here we go. Okay, stack with ID AWS CLI dash SNS topic does not exist. So basically, uh, it's deleted. And similar way, uh, we can delete the S3 stack as well. All right, guys and girls. Uh, so hopefully this video teaches you how you can run any AWS CLI command. So I know this is a CloudFormation course, uh, but if you follow those sample steps, uh, you can run AWS CLI command for any service. Uh, it could be EC2, it could be Lambda, SQS, anything. All right, guys and girls, that is the video. If you like this video, please smash that like button and click subscribe. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.